everyone and back on the Midland and Great Northern Joint Railway. We're just outside of Norwich. You might remember around about a year ago, I took a walk from the old Norwich City station through to Drayton and I'm back in Drayton now and I'm right next to Fackenham Road and I'm back on the track bed. Look at that. Now, what I like about this is in the last year or so, they've put these cute little gates on. Look, they're old like replica crossing gates. Let's have a look around the other side, go to Fackenham Road. That's marvellous, isn't it? Some lovely, lovely fencing. I believe it's also been done on the next road down. So let's have a look at this track bed. We'll talk about it a little bit and head off to our first destination. Now, the 2nd of December 1882 until the 2nd of March 1959, there was a station at Drayton and sadly it's no longer there we can't even get near it that is where we finished off in our last video so i wanted to do a bit of a recap on what we'd done so norwich city station all the way through to drayton took around about two hours to walk it i believe we've got two station sites to go along to today first one is atoll bridge and then we're going to end up in this part today at lemwade now in the last video I couldn't get the drone up at any point because of all the air traffic circling around coming from Norwich City Airport. I'm going to keep trying to give it a go. It is absolutely a beautiful but cold morning. Look, see there's the view back towards Drayton and Fackenham Road and there's our route towards Attlebridge. Nice little cutting, not very deep. It looks like it's going to level off a little bit before going back into another cutting. So the surface at Drayton, it's all been nicely relayed around about where the Tesco Superstore is. Um, and then it gets a little bit muddy after Fackenham Road. And then it turns into what is a tarmac path, but it is still a little bit sludgy. But it's all right. There's numerous pathways going off over to the right. And just over there beyond the trees, we've got Thorpe Marriott. So there's a road to cross down here and it's called Pendlesham Rise. And I can only assume, with the land ahead being flat, the track bed being flat, it was formerly a level crossing. And also they've got some of those cute little replica crossing gates on the pathway too. Let's get down and have a look. So this is Pendlesham Rise and it certainly looks like it could have been a level crossing but it may also have been a bridge because the profile of the road does go down and it goes up the other side. And there's that lovely lovely replica gate again. So you see it does go uphill, there's a little bit of a gradient so I'm going to have to look into that hopefully I'll be able to find out. You can see the other gate just in the glare of the sunlight just there and this gate here. Now it looks like we're heading towards another muddy section but I've got the walking shoes on so we should be able to stay relatively dry so it's still got Fort Marriott to our right we've still got a beaming sunlight behind us and we've got this beautiful tree line section coming up look at that but at this point I've actually had to go on the embankment just to get around this it's rather 
messy. Uh, yeah, look. Um, so it shouldn't be much longer, I hope, that it's going to be like this. I have to jump this. If I fall over, then that's going to be a little bit of entertainment for you. I see a lot of cyclists use this as well, so they're not going to be very clean at the end of the day, are they? Look at that view looking back. I know there's no railway tracks down, but it must have been a glorious sight back in the day. Although the trees would have taken over a little bit since. And the view going forward is pretty much just as lovely. So we're leaving Fort Marriott behind now and we're heading towards our next road crossing. Well, it's too close together. What is Marriott's way? And we've got the A1270 immediately after that. On the left, we should end up with Bex Farm Road. And then our first station, should it be very far after that? I'm hoping to get the drone up again because you would have seen already. I got a bit fortunate, but I couldn't keep it up for long. Now, the last time I visited this route between Norwich and Drayton, there was these various sculptures. And they always had a little metal imprint. You see like a steam locomotive just there, look. Running on the track. Now, these are all different. And this looks like some sort of like a giant bottle opener or a screw, hang on, let's get you out of the sun's glare. Yeah, something that would be twisted. Like maybe one of those things that you put in the ground to take soil samples. Also on a bit of an upward curve right now, the gradient is actually getting reasonably steep. I don't think the camera will pick it up. It might do. If you look behind, it looks like it is dipping down slightly, but the gradient going up around this bend it's quite a high one. Look at this. It's really, really old, isn't it? wire fencing and it's got tensioners. Is that what you call them? Yeah, uh, on the other side, we've also got original railway post of some sort here as well. Got another one, exactly the same. And a few concrete ones to boot. Almost at the A1270 now. And also at Marriott's Way Road and Beck Farm Road is just on my left. Look at this, first bridge of the day. It's an absolute beauty. Looks like it is completely built in red brick. It's Marriott's Way according to Google Maps, and uh, which is obviously the name of this uh, former track bed as well now. It's the name of the walk. The A1270 is just beyond that, and you'll be able to see where it's actually a bridge that's been built since the road was constructed, because the line would have just gone flatlining straight across into the fields and beyond. Let's have a look at this little bridge. Yeah, so as I say, red brick all the way up the sides, over the top and down. It's in reasonable condition, isn't it? It's got this nice patterning across the arch as well. Let's get ourselves underneath. And again, only a little bit of graffiti on that side. There's your roof and a few obscenities on that side, unfortunately, so I'm not going to put that in. And that's our view looking back to Norwich. That's nice that is, isn't it? So, next up is this bridge crossing what I think is a dual carriageway. Very, very busy road. I can hear it getting 
ever noisier. Now the A1270, it'll take you off towards Norwich in that direction and off towards Fackenham Road where we began the journey at that end towards Drayton and off towards Attlebridge where our first station is. So now that we're seven miles from Norwich and seven miles from Reapham. So this must be pretty much the halfway point of the Marriott's Way, I'm assuming. The route is now going to curve to the left for the next mile or so, and that'll take us on to Attlebridge, where our station is. So just outside of Attlebridge, about half a mile away, we've got another one of these cool little sculptures, look. Not really sure what this one represents. It's twisted steel again, or iron. And that's got a picture of what looks like a RAF bomber. Are well, they searchlights as well? So it's something to do with World War II probably, isn't it? Up here, I can see some more of those replica crossing gates coming into view. So this is Fir Covert Road and just the side of it is a junction for Reapham Road. And it does indeed have, well it has a replica crossing gate, look, one on the far side. This one's your more traditional gate, like a farm gate or what have you. Let's get across here. And there we go, look. Marvellous, isn't it, the gods this effort. So a mile and a quarter from Drayton now. 11 from Reapham and 17 from Elsham. And one day the plan is to end up at Elsham and then hopefully even ride on that little narrow gauge railway line towards Wroxham. That'd be pretty cool to finish off a railway water video doing that, wouldn't it? View going forward, let's see if we can get the drone up again pretty soon. It's like an old mile post, is it? Actually, it's got to be right next to Reapham Road. It's not really like one I've ever seen before, but still, it's absolutely so messy down here. Look at it. I don't think the camera does it justice. It's a swamp in places. Oh gosh. Um, there on the plus side, got all this private woodland around us on that side. I can hear woodpeckers and cuckoos. Oh, there's the bus to Norwich, so you get an idea. And we've got Elsham in that direction and Reapham. Do you know it's really weird around here because I remember when I did this just over a year ago, the first section, Google Maps just plays up and it just won't pinpoint where I am. I roughly know where I am, but occasionally I just like to double check as anyone would. And it's got me in all sorts of locations all the way it's never pinpointed me exactly where I am even though my signal is mostly in full bar and I'm in fields I'm in flipping swamps I'm in flipping supermarkets but actually I'm on the Marriott's way I wonder if it's anything to do with the air traffic or anything or I don't know yeah it's, it's, it's a weird little thing and I remember it happening last time so in a short cut in now we're still not at Atoll Bridge seems to be taking a lifetime to get to there we've got another sculpture look so it's a little bit twisted with a little bit of a lean at the top and not really sure what they represent this time uh, knives daggers something to do with metal work maybe don't know so i know i've mentioned Attlebridge station a few times we are getting close to it 
it's just the line's taking a long curve around to it. I think I can see bridge number two coming into view. Certainly don't envy doing his laundry at the end of the day. This is Felfort Road, and you're going off towards Assel Bridge, just about a quarter of a mile over there. And on that side, it's going to take us onto the junction of Reapham Road, which has been following us side by side for about the last half a mile. Very, very, very similar construction of bridge to the previous one. You can see there's still some telegraph cable hooks up there. Look, it's a bit messy. I don't know if we'll be able to get any closer to it. Very, very much the same construction as the other bridge as I just mentioned, and similar conditions. Still got the black steam marks look. Pretty clean on this side though, which may lead us to believe that maybe it was single track at this point, and this was the side that was used, because it does look as if it's been infilled, or maybe it was just single track. Yeah, there we go, just make them out just there. Look, I've got myself onto the other side. So there's a nice little bit of history. Now this line was open, I believe, until the very early 80s, 1982. And it was used for freight only at that point, heading off to Lenwade Concrete Factory. There's a factory there, and I think they used to collect big concrete sections for the construction industry. And that's the remains of an old rotten sleep lot. You can see where it's been used to reinforce the embankment just there, and it's fell away. As there are triple sections on two levels, look. Okay, let's push on towards Attlebridge. Just prior to Outbridge Station, there is Station Road. So that's a bit of a giveaway that we're nearly there. Just before that, there's some kind of farm crossing and whether it's a crossing, underpass or an overbridge, I'm not sure till we get there. It's quite a long straight section coming up again. There's been quite a few of them along this route so far, just tree lined, long and very, very straight. Let me show you. So that's our view looking backwards, just come off a little curve. Still got the sun beaming down on us as well, it's beautiful. It's warmed up a little bit now, I've managed to take my woolly noggin hat off. Let's push on, I reckon if this is just as straight all the way and there's not much to see, then I'll see you next at Attlebridge Station. For what appears to be a mile post. Again, look, that's if I go out the other side, you'll see it better. Get that glaring sunlight off it. Yeah. Okay, so it turns out the farm crossing is actually an underpass, look. I think it's more like a footpath now, though, isn't it? It's not used for farm access at all, but it looks a bit blue brick abutments. And it's going to be the same on the other side, isn't it? There we go, look. It's a cute little arch, isn't it? Can't see a way down there, otherwise I'd be nipping down to take a photograph of that. That's really smart. So, 
almost, almost at Atwood Bridge Station. I think the station building's there. I don't think either of the two platforms still exist though, sadly. Another sculpture look made out of old rail. Hopefully it was taken from this line as well, so there's a little bit of history there. Little twist at the bottom, the straight up section and across as per the others. Not really sure what that means on this one, if anybody knows. Just outside of Attle Bridge, that village is just there. The station was just around that bend there. So finally, after a long, long time, it feels like an eternity, we're arriving at Attle Bridge Station. There's no delay repay for any of this, so no refunds at all. Opened in December 1882 on the 2nd and closed to passengers on the 2nd of March in 1959. This looks absolutely beautiful. I think we've got a nice signal to look at and also an actual crossing gate. So currently on Station Road and look at this authentic crossing gate, isn't that absolutely beautiful? And the signal look and even a little bit of track is sat in place. That is absolutely astounding, you've got the platform edge look. That signal, I love that. I love that this has been looked after like this. It's absolutely beautiful. And just a little further up Station Road, so the gates there, the station building lot, and you could just make out the platform going all the way along. Just for a minute or so, we have to divert around the station house and its grounds on a little bit of farm access, but it's only taking us around. The station building is just there to my left lot, and I'm just taking this track back down to the track pad itself. Lenway Station, that is next, and that's where we're going to be finishing off today. It's only about a mile or so further up, and it opened on the 1st of July 1882, but again closed on the 2nd of March 1959 as per the other stations along this route. But it did continue on for goods traffic until 1983, and that was for the Lenwade Concrete Factory nearby. I also think Bernard Matthews' residence and his turkey farm is just over there somewhere too. Beautiful. So here's a nice little bridge look, and that's because it's our first encounter today with the River Wensum, just down there. Now the route between Norwich and Drayton it crosses this river multiple times, maybe three or four times. And there's some really nice bridges along the way as well. Not sure if we're going to cross this more than once today, but it's nice to be reacquainted with it once again. And a fine example of a riveted bridge as well, isn't it? Now we're right next to a huge metal recycling factory. And look what used to be a foot crossing or a road crossing into the industrial units. We've actually got some rail down there. This could have so been easily missed. But there it is, look. That's good, isn't it? So clearly, either the track was this side of the line or this was part of an old siding into what was used to be the old factories and units, maybe for the concrete plant, just on that side. As you can see there's nothing at all on this side. That's a nice little find, isn't it? It's what appears to be something as well, railway related, isn't it? Maybe to do with signalling or shunting, if these indeed were access sidings or run round loops of some sort. I can't get to it, it's too bushy and hedgy, but is that an old railway workman's hut? I mean, I'd have thought that would be outside of the perimeter. But then there could have been a lot of sidings here for the, um, the factories behind us. 
It's made out of breeze blocks, so it's not exactly an old one. So another access road, a former access road, and another bit of rail stuck into the ground. You even got the timbers not still in the ground, which would have been used for the foot traffic or road vehicles to get across. It only looks like there's one rail here though. Quite curious about this little bend. Is it actually a curve or has that just been damaged when track has been lifted? Can't see any more. Looks like just the one. Getting close to journey's end now. I think through here, is that an old loading gauge? It looks like one, doesn't it? I can't look at all this. I can't get any closer to it. It certainly looks like one, doesn't it? Get another angle of it just there, look. Not so good, but a little bit closer. So out of sight behind that embankment is a bunch of lakes called Layfields Lakes. And the River Wensum goes alongside them on the other side. So obviously that river does feed the lakes and also in times of heavy rain, it'll also flow back into the river as well. Lentway station it came off Porter's Lane opened in July 1882 and lasted until 1959 on the 2nd of March so we've got one more curious little sculpture look and this time again it's a piece of twisted rail and it's got a giant clockwork lever on it look one what you turn and the image on this one it shows a bridge and maybe that's the River Wensum going through Lenwade itself. So the site of Lenwade station, signal box has gone, that's been demolished, but the station is a private residence. Two platforms opening in July 1882 and closing way back in 1959, the 2nd of March. But goods traffic did carry on, as I said previously, for the concrete factory for carrying long concrete sections. And this carried on until 1983. It's a curious little bit of wall just here, look. Maybe for some kind of goods shed. Not very long. It starts just there and then goes on for maybe a dozen meters or 30, 40 feet and ends just there. So just here, look, we can see the slope up onto the Lenwood platform. And there it is at its full height. Look at that. That's nice, isn't it? Someone's garden now, though, so I'm not going to poke the camera up to have a look. But the station house is just over there where you can see the tip of that pointy tree. So quite a long platform. Let's get ourselves up to the building. I think there's a signal in the garden, too. It looks like these are like little viewing holes that have been purposely put in with a mesh. And it gets us a little look at the platform surface. There's two of those, look. That's pretty good, isn't it? And up there, look, we've got what is a replica signal or remains of a signal put together in the garden, which is really nice. And there's the roof of the station building. That's probably about the best I'm going to be able to get it. But it looks immaculate, doesn't it? Look at all that decor and trim. That's lovely. And as we approach Porter's Lane, you can see there's another one of these gates that's been put in. I love how they've done absolutely loads of these along here. 
it's absolutely amazing and directly opposite we've got the original crossing gate post is that and a sign there it tells us we're two and a quarter miles from Attlebridge so this is Porter's Lane I'm going to get across here and I'm going to say goodbye to you but we will come back very very soon I can already see down here there's a nice bridge just about 100 meters away now it's fenced off but I'm sure we'll be able to get around but that is for another day so thank you so much for watching there'll be a lot more in this area over the next year or so like subscribe and comment below thanks to all the channel members you can join as a channel member by pressing the join button above or below depending on what you're watching from take care bye bye